Hey guys, welcome back to RMA Garage. I don't know if you can see me here, but um, this is my wife's mountain bike. And she loves it, absolutely loves it. However, uh, it's an older model, and if you don't know a whole lot about bicycles, bicycles have gone from a trend to a one by whatever. This one being one cog here, and by means 10, 11, or 12. Well, her original bike was a two by 10, which means two sprockets up here and 10 sprockets back here, basically making it a 20 speed, basically a 20 speed bike. Well, she wanted a one by configuration and I spent a ton of time trying to figure out how to do this and I could not. So I had a local bicycle shop do the work for me and to put all the pieces and parts together. And since I could not find any of this information online, I'm here to share it with you. Anyone who wants to learn how to do this, I'm going to at least show you the pieces and parts, what we started with and what we ended up with. But first, we're going to go back in time before this was done, and I'm going to show you her original setup. So check this out, and I'll be back soon. All right, so like I said before, the existing drivetrain is a 2x10. And what we started off with was a ceram crank set uh, bb30 compatible pf30 bottom bracket the front chain ring was a 36 and the inner was a 22. Uh, the front derailleur was a x7 and the rear derailleur started off as an x9 until she had a little crash and uh, got a little road rash the cage bent i tried to bend it back into shape but it didn't work uh, it still jumped on her every time she rode, so we ended up buying a, uh, a GX, and this was awesome. This this derailleur worked perfectly, um, and then the rear cassette was a 11 by 36. So all these components are going to be taken off. We're going to switch to a 12 in the back, uh, a one by in the front, and I'll be showing you guys a list of parts. Uh, once we get it all taken care of, I'll let you guys know really how much the parts were uh, and how much it cost to put them on and all the parts that needed to make this conversion. All right, so obviously we are gonna be able to get rid of totally the shifter for the front derailleur. The existing shifters are X7s, and I'm not sure what we're going with, but uh, we're obviously gonna to have to switch out this to a 12-speed. But imagine how much weight we're gonna save uh, deleting the shifter and the front derailleur. Might even get a scale here and show you how much that weighs. We're also going to be getting new wheels. These are 27.5 wheels, and we're going to be switching these out, obviously because uh, 12 will not fit on a 10 hub, and we're also going to get a matching front as well. So she's very excited about this. We've been waiting for parts. They've been on back order now for about two months. Uh, they've got them all in, and we're ready to uh, drop this off to the bicycle store in the next day or two. And once they get it all put together, we'll uh, show you the finished product and give you all the numbers. Okay, so as you can see, her bike was a two by 10. And now we're gonna get into how we went to a one by 12 configuration. So let's start with the crank. The original crank was a two by, I believe it was 2236 and the 22, fastened here, the 36 tooth fastened here. Uh, we were planning on just doing a, 30, a 32 up front and attaching it to these bolt holes and leaving the crank uh, installed and basically knowing that these are there, not being used, no big deal, but the 32 didn't fit into these configurations. So we had to do a new crank and because of the crank, we had to do a new uh, bottom bracket. So this was the press fit 30 uh, Switch that out to a dub system and uh, The cranks here are Eagle GX uh, It's a 32 tooth uh, in the front and The only issue that I see is that there's a little clearance right here now there they're, the cameras making it lo look like it's touching It's not there's definitely a good bit of space there, but it's really close. I don't think you can go any bigger uh, of a of a sprocket here. You probably go smaller, obviously, but you wouldn't want to go any bigger than that. 
Uh, so we did do a new chain, obviously, uh, but in the rear, we did a 10 by 50 12 speed cassette. Uh, the rear derailleur is SRAM GX 12 speed. And because of her tires weren't, or her rims weren't going to fit the 12 speed, uh, we got Stan's no tube ZTR Arch S1s. And these things sound great. And hey, you gotta have matching wheels, right? So we got stands in the front as well. One last thing, uh, we definitely had to do a new shifter and the shifter is also GX. So everything on this bike looks to be GX and I'm going to show you how much. <laughs> So the total of this build was $1,321.89. And that is the whole thing right there. I'll hold it here for a little bit so you can see. There are all the parts. There's the 10 by 50 on top, stands no tube, front and rear. Uh, some housing, obviously we've got new uh, cables to, to fit what we needed. There's the new trigger shifter. Um, then we have the chain. And then we've got the, um, what else do we have here? Dub, the bottom bracket, and then there's the GX Eagle crank, uh, crank set 165 mil millimeters on the, sh so she has short cranks, she has short legs. So that is it, this is all the pricing. I wanted to show you guys that this can be done on a specialized rhyme that had the older two by 10 technology. It, it certainly can work and we've tried it, it shifts awesome. So she is raring to go. So I wanna show you guys how nice this shifts. This is obviously in the high skier. So we're gonna go down one at a time. All right, so that's all the way down. We'll go one up. Real quick, pretty responsive. Very nice. And then here's going down quick, going up quick. Very nice, no jamming. I know we're not under any uh, pressure or any any enforced right now, but uh, definitely feels good, definitely looks good. I think she's gonna love it. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I'm glad that I was able to show you this. I'm hoping that this is gonna help a whole lot of people uh, because uh, I couldn't find the right answers, but I wanted to share them with you. So you can definitely modify an older two by 10 configuration into a one by 12. So if you guys have any questions or comments, hey, leave them below. I'll definitely get back to you. Uh, whatever you wanna know, whatever I can help you with to help shorten the learning curve, uh, that's what we're here for. So if you like this video, please click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the bell so you won't miss our next episode. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.